Well done on the iPhone 16, everyone. It took a lot of courage to add that button. Yeah. And it's a lot more exciting than what our competition is doing, adding like a couple of screens or something. Well, fold me. Oh, hi there. I'm Sam Tucker from Apple. And you may have heard recently that just before we announced our new iPhone 16 model, the Chinese company Huawei unveiled their tri-screen double foldy phone that kind of looks like an iPad if it folded on purpose twice. All right, so they're trying to one or two up us, are they? Well, I have something to say about their so-called ultimate design. First of all, it might be thinner than our thinnest Apple product when unfolded and just about as light as our lightest iPad comes with twice as much RAM as our computers and more battery capacity than our iPhone Pro Max. But do they sell a silly case for it? They include a silly case for it and a stand. Wow, when we make a stand, not only do we charge extra, we charge extra extra. Read all about it. Anyway, I don't see why everyone's so excited about what Huawei is doing. Come on, the design isn't as bold as ours. I mean, their experimental technology elegantly folds away and slips into your pocket. But with our experimental technology, we strap it to your face, dangle a heavy dongle on it. It's pretty heavy. And you store it inside a pillow. So who's more edgy now? <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm not really this hard. I'm as soft as the outer screen must be. Yeah, I hope you don't have anything else in your pockets with this phone, like keys or earbuds or the inside of your pocket because it's gonna scratch. In any case, you may be wondering, how did Apple, the king of innovation and original thinking, get taken over by copy and paste China? Well, it's baffling. In fact, we asked Donald Trump to express just how we feel about it in a single word. China. Yep, that about sums it up. China. The all new triple foldy phone from Huawei. Who would want such a flimsy phone anyway? Over two million. Well, all right then. Subscribe today. Ah, oh, Huawei, you floppy bastards. Oh, hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. And why not click the subscribe button? That's right, when's the last time YouTube invented a new button? They pretty much took away the dislike one, so who's really innovating? Think about it. China!